Hi guys, welcome back. It's Gina again. My video, my last video cut out in the middle of everything, but I wanted to show you what I had done. So far it was only two little steps, so thank goodness. Um, what I did when the gesso was drying, I had put some dissolution paints on it, and all I did was dab it right on. Ow. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I told you guys, I always use drywall tape. I know it sounds strange, but if you actually really look at it, it gives you a ton of texture on your canvas. So what I did was cut it in half, and I put one up here, and then one right down here to kind of even it out, you know? And also I use, I scrape, the paint right through with the gesso still being wet just like that and it gives you an interesting um, texture or interesting you know look to what you're painting so I use things all the time around my house I have this um, my glue gun of course I saw a $20 glue gun set and you, you put your glue gun on it I, I no you save your money for the really important stuff <laughs> i think but this is what i use it's a broken piece of tile and it's worked fine for me for 20 some odd years okay and it doesn't take up that much room which is an absolute need especially with all the Space that I do not have. <laughs> um, I do keep these. If I like the um, the design, I keep these scraps. But they're what they are is the chipboard, and they, you take out the chipboard and use the chipboard, and I use it for a stencil. After that, I mean, that's, it's pretty interesting. I still have the rest of it. It's birds and leaves, and why couldn't you use it as a stencil? So I'm going to place it down right here. And I'm going to use the pink by Disillusions. And like I said before, you could just use the lid. I use the lid all the time. And that's all you need. Let me get my pouncer out. Sorry. I'm just going to use this. get some paint on here and of course I don't have that much paint on there but that's okay and all I'm gonna do is pounce it on there you don't um, paint it on there you you pounce it so it won't go underneath go right on down and you do not have to make it perfect mixed media is all about not making everything so perfect perfect and it's meant for you just to sit back and relax and I think that's all, all art myself but that's how I do it and I said that I was going to show you how I do it I mean how cheap is this you were actually people throw it away and I like how I went fuller to lighter and I'm going to put it on the side so I can use it later. Okay. So far, so good, huh? I think so. Okay. Oh, I wanted to tell you, with, with crackle paste, you can make your own. Use the same recipe as I used over there. Just put it as white paint. And then put it over. I use wood glue. I found it is it makes the most consistent cracks. You put the wood glue down first, then you put your gesso or your paste or your paint, regular paint, right over it. And it gives you these really cool cracks. So that's a little you wait for the glue to be tacky though. Sorry, I didn't say that. Okay, so dissolutions dries like that. So all this is already dry. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put some more dimensions. 
And I just like this. I mean, I was going to throw this away. It's from a towel that was ripping. So I'm going to put it just like this. Am I going to put it like that? Let me. You know what? I'm going to cut it in half. Put one this way and one this way. I might even put two. No, I think that's enough. Okay. My little paper towel that I've got over here. Then I know you guys have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's what's the fun about it. Okay, my little paper towel. And then I'm going to glue these on. Okay, really? Really? <laughs> Great, I gotta pause it. Hold on, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I had a little mal malfunction. Okay, so where we're at, we're putting these strings on with hot glue. I'm just going to put a little tiny strip right there. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Move them like this. Another one straight down here. And I'm not doing the whole the whole piece. Okay. Ooh, owie. I always do that. No matter if I try not to, always do it. <laughs> okay, then I got my paper towel. Doesn't matter what color it is right now because we're gonna be painting it. Okay, I'm gonna get a gob. Of glue right there so it can stay down. Right there. No, that's not going to go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I keep doing that. No. And if you accidentally, you know, you put glue somewhere that you actually didn't want it, you can always reheat your glue with your craft um, dryer. You could always re reheat it and take it right off without ruining whatever you've done. I'm going to set it back down here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to shape the bottom real quick. Okay, that seems like a good shape. Make sure it stays down. Get in there. Tuck, tuck. This one was a little bit too much. I didn't want it that much. But that's okay because I like the texture. Actually, I always like to do texture with hot glue as well. You could write your name. I mean, it's not perfect, but if you're just doing a regular line, it's wonderful. So I'm going to do one line right there. And one line right here. And then I'm going to go back and do three lines on the bottom. See, they're not perfectly straight, but that's okay. Forgive yourself. Don't go, oh, I did it wrong. No, 
it's okay. Forgive yourself. And then I'm going to do a writing. Let me see, right here. You probably can't see what I'm writing, but that's okay. You'll be surprised later. And yes, I did it. This I did this on purpose. It doesn't matter if you run out of room. Go ahead and write, do it. Um, I'm even going to put a couple of these in there. Make it a little bit more interesting. Hmm. Hopefully you can see it. There's one. And then you use your gesso to make sure these stay on there and then are covered. I'm going to put a couple up here. Wow! <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I always burn my fingers. <laughs> I'm surprised I have fingers. <laughs> now I'm just talking to myself in here. <laughs> That's my sister. Who are you talking to? No one. Just you. I'm going to do three of these. Artists like to do things in odd numbers. It just looks more balanced. Instead of two or, you know, one is fine. But I personally always like to do it in threes. This one, I'm going to probably put two more. Why not? My little friend over here. Hello. I don't even like it standing up. <laughs> I'm going to get a little big guy. I have no idea where this was from, but I just kept it. for. It was meant to be on this canvas. Where do you want to live? Right here? Okay, good. There you go. Okay, I hope this is helping somebody. <laughs> I like it how it's just loose. Okay. Let's see. So far, can you see it? <laughs> Do you know what it is yet? It's okay if you don't. I barely do. No. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight and gesso these little areas. And I'm not going to make another gesso. I'm just going to use my regular gesso. You don't have to, but I highly recommend to, to put gesso on um, metal, especially metal pieces. And this is exactly what I do 95% of the time. I put it right here. <laughs> I don't put it in a bowl. I'm just like, Burp. okay. Then what I'm going to do is grab a pouncer. Oh, this looks like a good one. It's dry. And even if it wasn't, oh well. Okay, some gesso. You're like, you already did a green and the orange and the pink. It doesn't matter. Like I said. Oh, look, it's picking up the pink. And my brush. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want. I think that's a great, happy surprise. Okay. I'm just going to blot it all over. Okay. 
Be like, you ruined it. You ruined it, Gina. <laughs> I liked it before. Okay. Now for the big one. Just plop some gesso all the way, all over it. The pink gesso now. And really, do not worry you, if you are going over what you just did. Like I said before, mixed media, mixed media is all about the layers. Let your brush go wherever you want it to. Don't be concerned about how it looks right now. It doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. What matters is if, see, I'm doing the gesso. I am making sure that this stays on and it doesn't come off. And I'm making sure the paint that I'm about to put on it stays on it. I try to use that same philosophy, same philosophy when I'm doing oils. Don't be so worried about what it looks like. You can always change it. It is paint. That's basically it. Always. Okay. All I'm getting is that tape. I'm putting gesso on that tape, making sure it's everything good. And then what I'm going to do... See, I'm getting all the... The crevices and put it in there and now I'm going to put it on the rest of my painting and see how you can still see the background not so much just putting it right real real fast in certain areas You're like, what happened to that beautiful blue? It just went away. <laughs> and then you're supposed to get nice and messy, of course. I mean, hello. I just try to make sure I get all the little grooves. And then I would go back because I actually like what I did underneath with a paper towel. And this stuff dries really fast, so you have to make sure you get what you want. I'm just blotting it in random areas that I want to still see. Look at it so far. <laughs> You're like, it looks like a mess. But see, that's okay. And I missed an area over here. Okay, come back for the third video, and hopefully the last video. So I won't be wasting your time, of course. And really, tell me how, what you think. Tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow. Really be helpful if you like my channel. Tell me honestly what you think of what I'm doing. Or, I've seen that before and I don't really care. That's fine too. That's your opinion. Thank you. And I'll be back. <laughs>